So I have discussed earlier the ad center. Now we want to level up a little bit and understand how to use a Facebook business manager. So in this video, you will learn how you can create a saved audiences using the Facebook business manager. So what's really the difference between like ads creating a audience in the ad center versus on the Facebook business manager? There's really a huge difference guys because the filters has um, like ad center has lesser filters versus on the Facebook business manager. The Facebook business manager, you can exclude a specific person um, with its interest or demographic or behavior. <laughs> Hi guys, so another Facebook ads tutorial and today we will create a custom audience using the Facebook business manager. Now if you are new to Facebook ads, I suggest that you check my playlist because um, I have the get started playlist, the, I mean the basic get go tutorial for Facebook ads. So if you are not yet familiar with Facebook ads, I suggest to check the Facebook ads center tutorials instead of jumping here to the Facebook business manager. So the first thing you need to learn first is the Facebook ad center. And if you are already good in that, jump to the Facebook business manager tutorials. Okay. So this video is all about creating custom audience using the Facebook business manager. Okay. I assume, you know, already ad center. So if you are ready to dive into the Facebook business manager, you need to go to the business that facebook.com and then, and then you click this audiences, or you can also come up in here and click this audiences. By the way, you need to select your, the right Facebook business manager. Otherwise you will be putting your custom audiences into the other account. And if you are not familiar on that, I have a tutorial. So just check the link description below for more information. Now we will create, okay, this is the task that I need to do. I need to create a women shoppers and also women shoppers engage shoppers. So um, they have they have similar um, like filtering, but the only this the, the only different in this engage shoppers is the um, behavior that is called engage shoppers because engage shoppers is more expensive to target. So when you say engage shoppers, these are the audience that love online shopping. So they are really active in clicking the add to cart and. Um, clicking the checkout button, something like that. So, okay, the first one is we will just create a uh, custom um, women shopper. So these are the audience that love shopping, that love um, some specific pages that is related to fashion industry. But they are they don't have like it's it's a general um, audience. It's not really specific that this type of audience are really into. Um, shopping, but they love shopping um, thing. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's say um, you click this one. So in order for you to create a custom audience, to click this create audience and click the saved audiences, and then you name your audience. So I'm gonna call that shopper women shoppers default, and in this options as well, you can also exclude people that you don't want to target. For example, pay, um, admins of our pages. Um, and since this is an app, um, this is an app company, we want to um, exclude people that are already an app user because our campaign is more about um, encouraging people to download our app. Okay, so we want to exclude those users who already installed the app. And we want also to exclude people that are, um, yeah, I can also exclude people that are, um, admin of this fan page, but we will not cover that in this video. If you want me to create a tutorial for that, just leave a comment down below, or I'm going to also create another version for the like excluding audiences. So yeah, but for now we just want to exclude audiences that are so exclude audiences. I need to remove that one instead. Instead of include, I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna put that into exclude. So we want to exclude people that already use our app. Okay. For the location thing, it's still the same. I want to target United States, and then I want to target um, audience from age 14 to age 27. 
27 and then I just want to target women so we really want to separate women um, audiences and men audiences so we can see like who are performing well and what are the what are the cost per result for by gender or in by individual gender what are the cost per result so women and then the language um, just English English all and then for the detailed targeting we have again on my ad on my other video that the basic ad uh, basic creating custom audiences using ad center I've explained what are the types of detailed targeting so we have three types of detailed of yeah, three types of detailed targeting. The first one is the demographic, uh, demographic, and then the second one is interest, and then the behavior. If you want to know more about that, um, make sure you check my other video. Um, I'm going to put it on the link description below. Okay, for the detailed targeting, I want to target, so I have some few lists in here. So I want to target those people that are interested into our... Um, competitors or not not just not really in direct competitors but I would say indirect competitors so I want to target not the employers of the ACES but I want to target those people that are interested in ASOS so something like that they are different when you are targeting employer in ACES versus on audience that are interested in ACES you really have different audience so you really need to be careful in terms of um, targeting the right interest, targeting the right demographic and behavior. Okay, another sample we can do as well is target people for those. Um, I want to target people that loved discount coupons. So probably they are shoppers and they always use discount codes for an, to the e-commerce website, just like an Ace House. And also I want to target since my this website or this app is more into fashion related thing things so we want to target people that love um trendy fashion okay we are already in that interest part now we can narrow uh, we can add more um instead of interest we can also come up with behavior okay so behavior um for the behavior let's try to come up with facebook access mobile or yeah Facebook access mobile so I want to target those people that are using um, mobile specifically for um, iPhone only so our app only works on iPhone so I don't want to target people that are not using iPhone or using Android devices or it should be iPhone so that's really the purpose of detailed targeting by the way iPhone users or iOS users are more expensive versus an Android users. That's what I've learned from the Facebook expert thing. I mean, he's saying that it's a bit expensive over the Android users. And now, and now you can also target like a, you can also target a position. So let's say for example you want to target people that are somewhat in graduate graduated in high school or undergraduate you can also work on that or um, let's say you want to target people who are students in Yale University there, there is also option for that for the demographic so I don't want to be go I don't want to go crazy in that because this our audience is a bit um, it's not too complicated because we just want to target Gen Z people and yeah so that's it now you can also exclude something in here so to avoid you know avoid um, targeting fake accounts so one of the fake accounts are not really um, it's not really fake accounts but most of these fake accounts works on Krusty Krabs um, yeah what's the spelling of Krusty Krabs yeah so um, I don't want people interested in Krusty Krab, interested in works on Krusty Krab as well as job employee. And I don't also want to exclude people who are employer of Facebook app and a lot more. So as you can see here, if we come, if we can go further here, we have over data is not yet available it looks like Facebook has an issue but it, there is there should be an options in here to see like how many audiences 
uh, potential audience that you can get on this part. So that's really how it works there. Facebook and then men and then I just want women. And then the languages should be English. So detailed targeting, I have like the interest. I also have the demographic and I also have the behavior. Now this is not yet finished. Um, I'm gonna finalize all of this stuff in here. Um, yeah, but this is the get go. Like when you are in terms of you are targeting an audience, you need to come up with the right people based on their behaviors, based on their interests, and based on the demographic if it is applicable. And for the connections as well, um, I would say this will be more into retargeting thing. So if they did not convert into your goals, or let's say for example your 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 ad is all about app install or conversion, but they did not they did not um, convert, then you can come up with this part like people who like the page you want to target them or friends of people who like your page. But instead of using this custom custom audience, I would say you need to use the um, what do you call that? It's not custom audience. It's also not to look like. Yeah, instead of using saved audience, you need to use the custom audience. Okay, so that's it, guys. I'm gonna after you're done with that, you need to click the create save audience, and for now in this part in here it's still unavailable it may take a few minutes to see the size of your audience but yeah the smaller the size is it's it's the better because it will kind of like you are optimizing your audience as possible and as you can see in here like people who like or interacted their fan pages have 6,000 stats and then people who are interested um, interacted on our Instagram has 220,000 reach so sizes so I'm gonna if you want to edit this um, save audiences, you can just click this one and then you click the actions and then click the edit and you can add more um, filters there. And I'm going to add more filters. I need to work on the filters. So let's just keep that audience like that. And yeah, I need to add more filters and that is the get go of creating a save audience on Facebook business manager. I hope this has been helpful and make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification if you want to receive new videos from Bookworm Head.